Hey coders and welcome to the first episode of our newest playlist. This video is going to kick off season 8 of our Google Apps Script course in which we'll be taking a deeper dive into the lock service. So I'm actually extremely excited to give this playlist. It's going to be short and sweet but that does not detract from how important this service can be. And especially because I couldn't really find too much material out there already, I'm glad that we're gonna be finally be able to instruct on this lock service. So what does this do? Well, this service is used to prevent concurrency. And you might be scratching your head thinking, wait a second, I've always heard that concurrency was a good thing, right? You want multiple users to be accessing your code at the same time. And yes, for most of the time, that is absolutely true. However, there are some key times when you do not want that to happen. And that is say when you want to lock sections of your code to prevent users from interfering with each other and overwriting data that one user uh, put in to the database, say, and then another user. You just don't want them to be overwriting themselves. So this is an integral part of any web app or program that you make. So let's actually dive into the code and just see what this looks like right now. Again, if you're publishing your code to multiple users and there's a good chance or even a possibility that those users could be accessing your application simultaneously, then lock service is a must have when implementing your code. So let's just start with something basic, something easy to get us going, uh, to start on the same starting line. Uh, so if you type out lock service and then you hit the period button, if you get this list of methods, you are doing things correctly. If you don't get a list of methods, then just make sure everything is spelled correctly. Uh, make sure the L is capitalized and the S is capitalized and every other letter is lowercase. Again, this service is case sensitive, so just make sure it's exactly like this here. So again, there's these list of methods and then we'll be taking a look at these methods, but then also the methods on these classes as well in later videos. The nice thing about this service is that it does not require authorization. So we do not need to go through the authorization dialog flow like we have in previous playlists. But guys, we're gonna look a lot more deeply into what this service can do. Again, it's extremely important. We're gonna see some examples of when you would want to use this, when you may not wanna use it. But again, I use this quite frequently whenever I'm building out, say, a web app, and I think it's important to know as well. So, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll see you in the very next episode.